Have you guys ever forgotten your Linux password? Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to fix that little problem. So what I'm doing is I'm going to enter the E key when I get to grub. So I'm powering on the computer right now. As soon as I see the boot for grub, I'm going to go ahead and hit the E button. I just hit E and it took me right here. So now what I need to do is change the boot parameter. I'm going to boot into a root shell and this is how I'm going to change my password. Since I left town for a few weeks, I completely forgot it. And so I thought I would take you with me to change it. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going down to where it says Linux right down here. And then what it has is it'll say RO. See that RO? Well, I need to change that to RW and RO is read only. So we want to make it read and write. So what I'm doing is I am going to erase that O and I'm going to put a W right in its place. So I've done that. Now what I need to do is go down further. I need to get down to where it says quiet. And I'm going to go ahead. Yours may look different for you. And yours may look a little different. But we'll go ahead and move that cursor all the way back to quiet. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually holding the camera by hand. So it's really... Uh, not that easy to watch, but I'm, I'm so I'm typing with one hand. So now what I need to do is init and then equals init equals and then slash you may do slash bin slash sh or slash user slash bin slash bash bash okay I've done that so I have init equals slash user slash bin slash bash I have the RW there as you can see RW instead of read only it's now read and write so it's gonna boot and read and write and it's also gonna boot a root shell so now what I need to do is I need to go over here and hit my F10 to boot into the root shell so we'll go ahead and hit that and now it's booting so okay now it's going to be booting again and what it's going to be doing is it's going to be loading up that kernel but first I need to unlock the disk so let me do that first all right now I need to type the encryption passphrase So now what it's doing is it's actually loaded me a root shell. Super easy to do. This is a bit of a sloppy video, but I'm holding it in one hand. I just didn't have a uh, camera holder for the moment. So all you have to do after this is first you got to mount, mount command, and then space, the N flag, space, then O. So I have mount. And then I do a remount, and then a comma, RW, and then slash. So once I've done this, I'll be ready to change the password to anything I want. So now all I have to do is hit PASSWD, and then my username, which is user. So now all I have to do is enter a new password. So because it's a root shell, you can change it to anything you want. You can run commands without having to enter any password. So when you forget any of your passwords on your Linux system, except for the encryption one, if you have luck set up, you're not going to be able to do anything to recover that. You're going to need to remember your encryption passphrase. However, on your usernames, on your logins, that's what I forgot. I forgot my username, login, password for the Linux desktop. And so at this point, now all I have to do is type a password and type it again. And that's it. Now at this point, all I have to do is power off the computer, power it off. And once I do that, oh, 
Well, all I have to do is hold the power button in on the uh, desktop. So this will work on your laptop, whatever computer you have other than a single board computer, you can uh, run this and follow these steps. Go into Grub and then you're going to type E. That's going to get you to the boot parameters and at that point your kernel parameters you're going to add that change the ro read only to rw for read and write then you're going to make sure after quiet you put init equals slash bin slash bash or slash user slash bin slash bash you have to obviously pick a shell location that exists on the system and of course, this is not going to correct for getting your Lux encryption passphrase. Hope this was helpful to you. Now when I boot it up, it's going to have the new passphrase that I just set. And I'll be good to go and I'm back in my system. Sure saves a lot of time of having to transfer data and reinstall or uh, take a backup and try and recover that way. This is much quicker. So I hope this was helpful to you. And I'll be back later with another video on how to protect your security and privacy.